Hello, in this problem we have a variable density uh, kind of situation. Uh, we're going to solve for the center of mass via integration in this particular situation. So we have what, what we have here is a settling tank. Uh, so we've got a water and ceramic slurry with a uniform density of uh, 1100 kilograms per meter cubed, kind of in this beginning state. Um, and in this ending state, uh, I've got kind of a, a density that varies from 1,000 kilograms per meter cubed. So this is basically pure water at the top, uh, and I've got 1,200 kilograms per meter cubed at the bottom of this tank uh, as kind of the slurry, the ceramic particulate, settles down to the bottom. Um, so <clears throat> we want to figure out between state one and state two how far the center of mass of this kind of ceramic slurry drops. Uh, because obviously if we get more dense stuff down at the bottom, we're going to have a uh, center of mass that is slightly shifted towards that bottom piece. Um, so uh, each of these tanks, so it's got a height of one meter and a diameter of one meter. So it's one meter in diameter, one meter uh, in height. Uh, and we're going to go ahead and draw in the axes. And so I'm going to have X and Y, uh, and then Z kind of goes up the center of the tank. Same thing over here, X, Y, and Z. Uh, I'm going to call this one state A, this one state B. All right, and so the density is going to be kind of important. I need to kind of define that uh, with respect to each of the directions. And so in state one, it's easy. Uh, density at any point is simply equal to 1,100 um, kilograms per meter cubed. Uh, density at state two is going to be a little more complicated. Um, so down here at the base, it's going to be 1,200 kilograms. Uh, but if I go up by one meter, it drops by 200. And so I have a slope that's dependent on Z. And so my density uh, is going to be 1,200 minus 200 Z and the same units kilograms per meter cubed. All right, so the <clears throat> this is the density, which is going to be important for my calculations later on. Um, so that's going to be our first step in all of this. All right, next I want to calculate uh, kind of the overall mass of my tank, and it's going to be the same in both of these situations, so nothing's entering or leaving really, it's just redistributing. Um, so easier way to do this is with the kind of initial scenario, so mass is going to be equal to 1,100 kilograms per meter cubed, so density times the volume, um, and the volume is going to be equal to pi r squared times h, so the radius is 0.5 meters, and the height is 1 meter. All right, so I get an overall, if I plug all that in, I get an overall mass of 864.9 kilograms. All right, so there's my overall mass, um, so the density for kind of either situation. All right, next I need to go ahead and start doing my calculations. Um, so the part that's going to change for the center of mass is the z-coordinate. And again, the z-coordinate is going up kind of the center right here. Um, so I'm going to do kind of side-by-side -side calculations. Um, this will be part A. This will be part B. I'll kind of do that. All right, so same calculation in both cases. Um, the z coordinate for the centroid uh, is going to be the uh, equal to the integral from the z minimum to z maximum, so zero up to one meter, minimum to maximum height, times density, times dv, times z. That integral gets divided by the overall mass of the body. So same calculation over here. So z bar is equal to the integral from z minimum to z maximum. So 0 to 1 times the density um, times dv times z. 
that whole thing gets divided by the mass. All right, so let's start by working on this side. So situation A is where we have a uniform density. All right, Z bar is equal to the integral from 0 to 1 of 1,100 times dV. And so dV is going to be, uh, again, equal to the cross-sectional area at any value of Z. Um, and so that is going to be equal to this cross-sectional area times dz, um, cross-sectional area of our um, cylinder as we move top to bottom is just a circle. So pi times r squared times dz. So pi times 0.5 squared times dz. Uh, and that whole thing gets multiplied by z. Uh, again, over the mass, and we calculate the mass to be 864.9 kilograms. All right. So some of this stuff can come outside of my integral. So z bar, anything that's a constant I can bring outside of my integral. So this density, this cross-sectional area, which basically remains the same, um, and then uh, the mass can all go outside. So this is 1,100 times pi times 0.5 squared over the mass of 864.9. And what's left in my integral is the integral from 0 to 1 of z dz. All right, so z bar, this whole thing, you know, mass times cross-sectional area over that piece there uh, is just going to reduce to 1. Uh, and I'm doing this evaluating from 0 to 1, and I take the integral of z, which is 1 half z squared. And so I'm going to have z bar is equal to 1 times 1 half times 1 squared minus 1 half times 0 squared. So z bar for this side is simply equal to 0.5 meters. So that hopefully shouldn't come as too much of a surprise if we have a cylinder the center of mass of that cylinder is halfway up the height of the cylinder. Um, so now we're going to kind of compare that to this other scenario where the density is not constant. All right, so for this side, I have z bar is equal to the integral from 0 to 1 of the density, so 1,200 minus 200z. So that's my density equation. Uh, dv is the same thing I had over here. So the cross-sectional area, pi r squared, times dz. And that whole thing gets multiplied by z. That whole thing is divided by the mass of 864.9 kilograms. All right, so now we want to bring some of this stuff outside of the integral. So my cross-sectional area pi r squared and my mass kind of end up outside the integral. Um, so for this, I'm going to have pi times 0.5 squared over the mass of 864.9 times the integral from 0 to 1, so z to minimum to z maximum. Uh, and this density equation uh, multiplied by z, so that's going to be 1200z minus 200z squared dz. All right, so now we have uh, 1 over 1100, so 1 over the density basically outside. Uh, and if I do this integral, um, it's going to be 
the definite integral from 0 to 1 of 600 z squared minus 200 thirds z cubed. All right, so z bar is going to be equal to 1 over 1100 times 600 times 1 squared minus 200 thirds times 1 cubed and then minus um, kind of the, if I plug in z of 0 for each of these scenarios I just end up with minus 0 on this side. Alright so now I just have numbers left plug everything in z bar uh, it's going to be equal to 0.485 meters, which is slightly lower than it was before in my initial scenario. All right, so the original question is, you know, how far did the center of mass drop uh, between kind of the initial state A, where we had uniform density, and B, where we kind of settled some of that tank? Uh, so if I went from 0.5 to 0.485, um, the center of mass drops by 0 0.015 meters. Alright, and so with that, I've solved my problem. Thank you for watching, and I hope to see you again.